We believe that there is water that can only be used for people and for, for food and for and not used for um, a polluting industry like the conventional dyeing is today. I think the um, CO2 technology that DICO is, uh, has built is disruptive and at this point there's only one company worldwide who is able to work with CO2 within the dyeing industry at full commercial production scale. So we're really product leader, there's no competitor. Because dyeing with CO2 means you're not dyeing with water. So it's water free, it's no water, none. And as there is no other company able to work with this technology, it is the only technology out there available in the industry today who is able to dye water free. That's a very good question because actually we're using CO2 as a waste product from the industry today. So we're using that CO2 and within our closed loop system it's recycled for 98%. And that's the fundamental um, additional value of working with CO2 in the way we're working with CO2. Our customers today are those customers who want to make a disruptive change to how they're doing business today. So these customers are aware on the water problems and the need to do work in a different way. So they've shown an open mind um, and an innov innovative mind to join us on the adventure of upscaling a technology that has proven itself in a lab but it's proving itself now in commercial scale. We work with customers who are joining us on that ride. And then the key focus is not only about reusing CO2. It is a bigger fundamental drive to commit at this age of this raw diamond, how we call it. We have a very strong relationship with Nike. They are on one hand a shareholder, so they have invested in the fundaments of the company to push the, the, the company and the technology forward. But on the flip side, they're also actively using the technology in their business today. So we have a very strong um, way of working together and really commercializing and upscaling the technology. So we do a lot of joint projects together, which gives DICO, for example, the opportunities to, um, to, for example, build the relationship, make the relationship stronger with the dye stuff suppliers in order to drive, create color palettes, um, talk about roadblocks that everybody experiences and overcome those hurdles together. And Nike is a great uh, party to work with. They really truly drive the innovation from their fundamental roots. So that's a very important customer for us. Yeah, it's always interesting how every individual consumer thinks. Um, I think in reality every consumer is still wanting a product that they can afford and that um, doesn't change color after washing and then they love the story that it brings. And I honestly th feel that the biggest story we're telling is the fact that we are not using any water and not using any process chemicals. And then there's another benefit that we're using the CO2 as a waste product. So that's end, 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 end. I want every consumer to be aware of their part in the world and know that they have an ability as well in their behavior to change. So it's very important and I like the consumers that pick up on the story that brands are communicating. I like the consumers that understand that there are is issues globally in the world that also they can be a part of, of changing. And by the clothes you wear, you contribute to that and that's what every single individual is able to do.
I would really like the CO2 um, technology to become the standard in the textile industry. That is my, our hard rocket objectives.